Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I've been dicking around with Abyss 86 for a while now, and nothing's worked. But we were talking about it today and thought maybe somebody like Spectre Cinebria would be good here because you don't have to worry about the whole. Get it. I mean, you have to worry about getting revenge. So her passive doesn't negate the revenge, but it does happen to um, stop him from attacking again. So after he revenges, he can't keep going after that, which is really nice. So here we are. We've got the first Ken down. We killed the mushroom via the poison of Spectre Tenebria. Kind of the same as the Kira's Cheese idea. Um, Except she doesn't land her poison as often. Now, what we've been doing is we've been using Shooting Star Arcades to put invulnerability up on Angelica. And I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen moving forward, but it's been working relatively well, so I wanted to start recording it. In the name of the goddess, a prayer. So we're going to put up immunity. Oh. We basically just have to survive trying. one turn. So like here, it's quite possible he would take another turn and then we'd get screwed uh, because he would just keep attacking into her, but now he can't do that. So it's all we have to worry about is the, the revenge itself. So we've got the immunity up, which is nice. Having the immunity for his ultimate is, is ideal if you can. And now we're basically all the way back around again, so she can actually use her ultimate again. We just don't need it yet, so we're going to save it. But when we need it, we'll put it back up. We've also got Tamarine here, which is giving Spectre Tenebria an extra turn and an extra chance to apply poison. So even though it was Tamarine's turn, we got the poison proc, which is nice. Oh, bored. So if things go really well, we can get two poison per turn. Now this is where things get a little dicey. But again, because we have her, we can always heal. And even if we have... Um, Heal block, she, this goes through heal block. So, on the first Ken, when the mushroom applies, uh, when he's applying heal block, we can kind of counter that. I'm scared. So, I realize this is not at all a free to play team, and it probably won't help a lot of people because you probably don't have Spectre Tenebria, but if you do, it's just another option, and if you have a Kyrus, you can kind of use the same sort of strategy as well. Know your place. Come here. It'd be a lot faster if we would actually land poison. Hi, everyone. But we keep missing it. So I think we're gonna use this here. Here and there, and even over there. You can't close your eyes. Basically, it's just in case in this situation, because uh, he is going to use his ultimate, and it looks like we're going to get next turn. But if we don't, because he revenges here like that, See how much better I am? Ultimate! now he can ultimate into us and maybe kill Tamarine. But maybe if we hadn't put that up, maybe he kills Tamarine and Angelica. Hopefully, he kills neither. All right. So we survive. Now we're in like panic heal mode. But we don't really care if he hits Angelica moving forward. We actually we do care. We want him to hit Angelica moving forward. Still no poison, unfortunately. Um, I think we're gonna switch forms here. Nice. We're just 
never landing that right now. So that's perfect. He did revenge Tamarine, but because Angelica is lower health, he's going into her. And we don't have to worry about her dying, which is great. We're going to save her immunity for next turn when he's got his ultimate ready. Fortunately, he revenged her, which is bad all the way around. Hopefully, he attacks into Angelica. So that's why we did that. Now, she's going to be coming out of... Wait, hold on. Yeah, so she only has one turn left on that. Um, and he's going to go first, so we're going to heal her up. Surprise appearance. We're going to try and steal a turn with Angelica, because we really want to get that immunity up. I'll do my best. So we're going to attack bar boost Ladies here. And gentlemen. Know your place. All right, so that worked well. Where are as you? long as he doesn't revenge here, we'll for sure get next turn. So let's put this up. We also have Vial on Shooting Star Arcades, which will help with the cleanse on top of Tamarine's cleanse. So it's just been super safe. It's taking a while because we aren't landing these poisons, but Tenebria's gear is really bad. Like, really, really bad. She has three pieces that are plus 15, but one of them is like plus zero. Um, just because that had immunity on it for Guild Wars. Hi, everyone. And I couldn't be bothered changing it. Oh. You want to try me? <gasps> so before the patch, everybody was using Flurry for this. And it was really like the only way to do it. And I was trying it with Clurry and it kept failing. Oh, it can't um, be helped. But in this situation with the new buff, although they killed Clurry, Tenebria basically can't die here. Like he had an attack buff, so he revenged, but like Big deal because he can't attack three times into her, and that's I, normally what kills people on this stage. Is the fact that they're getting attacked three times by by ML Ken in a row. So we got nice damage there. All right, so this is where she's gonna come into play. So we finally lost a unit because of his attack buff. Now. We have to wait a turn, unfortunately. Oh, I wanna retire so we're going to have to already. cycle one more. But we're going to be able to revive Tamarine. Ooh, unless we don't cleanse that provoke. Oh, I'm bored. All right, so we have to cleanse. She has vial, and her vial is maxed. But if she doesn't cleanse that vial, then we're going to be in trouble. Alright, so she did cleanse it. We're going to burn into the revive. Twinkle, twinkle. Hi, the burn allows us to take another turn, and which means we can heal. And everybody's back to full health. Now, he is coming into his ultimate, which sucks that we didn't have immunity up, but at least everybody's at full health when he came into it. He has no attack buff. Oh, sorry about the lag. I'm not sure what happened there. But all in all, we're in pretty good shape. No, it might not look like it. Let's heal again, because that'll bring up her ultimate, which means she can cleanse next turn. Now, she cleansed herself, which is interesting, because, I mean, it's good. We could attack here, but I kind of don't want to. Um, I think we're going to use this opportunity to Arky. We do have two Arkies. Mm. 
So there's 23k. Now, if we can land this, if we land poison here, I think it's GG. Unfortunately, we missed it, so when he gets his turn, that'll bring him down under 5%. I mean, either way, we got this because we've got. Uh, we can just Arky again. Even though he double crit our Angelica and killed. You can't close your eyes. I mean, we could keep going and try and just kill it without. Um, Without playing it out, because we could essentially, he's never going to attack our Tenebria. And then we could just try and land another poison and see if it works. He doesn't have his ultimate. Just for just for fun, let's see what happens here. Well, we do get two shots at landing it. I mean, realistically, even if he kills somebody, we can always Archie on the next turn. So I just want to see if we can do it without the other Arky. Nice. See if we can get that Tenebria the kill shot. Poison? There we go. Beautiful. Hi, everyone. We're going to let him kill himself. Just to watch him pop. Beautiful. Alright. Cool. So there you go. There is floor 86. If this helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and we will see you all next time. Bye for now guys.